Today is the start of week three of chapter four and this time around we get our hands on a new assault rifle, the Carabine 1938M. It's a Polish prototype semi-automatic rifle designed by Joseph Maracek. About 150 or so were made before they were discontinued due to the invasion of Poland by Germany and Russia. The weapon is so rare that there's only one documented usage of the rifle in combat which was by Maracek himself. It has a 10 round fixed magazine that uses stripper clips to reload and fires 300 rounds per minute. Neither can be upgraded so it's not the most versatile weapon but rather focuses on one specific role and tries to dominate in that department. In this case that would be in the long range department and very much resembles the Gewehr 43. Some may even argue it's a pre-nerf Gewehr 43 but let's take a look and see what makes it so different. Starting off with the stats, the carabine inflicts the same amount of damage as the G43 and the self slather 1916. That means all three can finish off any opponent with three body shots from anywhere, so literally as far as you can shoot, and if you add headshots into the mix then you can further reduce the bullets down to one headshot, one body shot up to 50 meters, or just two headshots from any distance. The simple conclusion is that both the carabine and the Gewehr have the same exact TTK, as both fire 300 rounds per minute and use the same damage model. The bullet speed is identical too so there's no TTK difference over distance, but as you know accuracy plays a vital part in achieving the optimal TTK and that's where the carabine starts to shine. It's got less recoil than the G43 and that allows you to be more precise and accurate resulting in a more efficient TTK rate as less shots will be missed. The other benefit of having less recoil per shot is that firing at the maximum rate of fire becomes a bit more viable. You won't need to pace your shots as much and that again maximises the TTK. Not to mention that landing headshots is slightly easier as well and that further reduces the TTK significantly like I've mentioned before. So if you find the recoil of the Gewehr 43 difficult to control or not ideal, then the carabine could be your new go-to long-range semi-automatic rifle. If you're wondering how good it is against other semi-autos like the G15, Turner, Mass and the M1A1, then it outperforms all of the above from 50 meters onwards except for the AGM, but that's only in the perfect environment if you maintain the maximum rate of fire while being 100% accurate. Not many can do that, however inside of 50 meters it will be outperformed by all other semi-autos except for the self slider 1916 as it fires a lot slower than the carabine. So ideally you want to keep a safe distance between yourself and an opponent to get the upper hand but that's not to say you should avoid close range engagements. I did find myself doing almost as well on smaller maps like Rotterdam but you do need to pay a bit more attention to your positioning and surroundings because of the reload speed. If I had to give any tips on how to use the carabine in the most effective way, I would recommend using a 3x scope to maximise its long range potential and try spending all of your rounds before reloading to minimise the reload time as much as possible. The main aim is to avoid reloading every single bullet unless you're certain you're safe and away from danger. For specialisations, I went for faster bullets, improved hip fire, quick reload and recoil buffer. But depending on the map you're playing on, you should alternate between the top two as faster bullets isn't that useful on smaller maps but quick aim is and vice versa. Also, I did notice that the Spectre is almost identical to the G43 and the only difference is that the carabine gets quick reload instead of a detachable magazine option. Apart from that and recoil, there's no other difference between the two and most of us will base our decisions on these two factors. So I would say if you normally take the stripper clips path on the G43 then the carabine is a straight upgrade as you'll have less recoil with everything else being virtually identical. But if you tend to use the G43 with detachable magazines then you'll need to consider whether it's worth trading a convenient reload method for less recoil. And that all depends on your playstyle and perhaps slightly your platform. So if you stick to the strams and keep a safe distance then you can manage having stripper clips but if you don't adopt such a play style and are a bit more aggressive then there is a benefit of having a detachable magazine. Will I pick the carabine over the Gewehr 43? Yes. It's easier to control and you can be a lot more precise with it while having the same amount of damage output. 
perfect for large maps and if I decide to play more aggressively I'll just swap it out for a faster firing semi-auto instead of a Gewehr with a detachable magazine. Will I pick the carabine over the Selbstlader 1916? No. Even though there's a large TTK gap between the two, having 26 rounds is just a lot more forgiving and allows me to potentially take out multiple targets at once rather than being limited to a maximum of 3 or 4 opponents, if you're lucky that is. In summary, the carabine is the new best long range assault rifle over from the Gewehr 43. It packs a punch while maintaining excellent accuracy and the only downside I can think of if I'm being extremely picky is the reload method. The stripper clips do force you to play a bit more passively to avoid being caught out while reloading, but I do understand that a detachable magazine carabine would have made the Gewehr 43 completely redundant. Plus, it wouldn't be historically accurate, I think. And that's it for this brief review, I'll leave you guys with some more raw gameplay for the next few minutes, and in that time, do let me know what you think of the new weapon in the comments down below. Leave a rating and I'll see you later. Take care. Aufpassen, Ladung sind scharf. 